so good to see you. Hey guys, um, okay, we are doing live. Welcome to the Real Estate Minutes with Timmy Grogan, um, my live Facebook feed version. Um, I called on Marie, let me take these off. I called on Marie because um, I think it's really important. My buyers, my sellers, they're stressed out all the time. Um, Marie is a professional certified trainer and I said, Marie, what are some exercises that can help my buyers and sellers when they're preparing to move? I mean, I just went through a renovation in my house. Uh -huh. I was up and down a ladder. I was painting. Um, I did this for a couple days. Oh my gosh, I could not move out of bed. And I thought there was some stuff I could have done. My back was hurting. Absolutely. So I feel like my buyers and my sellers, they're doing the same thing. They're, they're doing some updates to their homes. They're lifting boxes. They're moving. It's yes. stressful. So what can we do? Help us. It can be physically and mentally exhausting and stressful to go through a renovation or a move these days. No doubt about it. So let's start off um, with the physical aspect to me. So okay. a great total body strengthener. I would recommend this move to almost anyone is a plank. A plank. You know this. Can you yes. demonstrate the most perfect okay. plank for me? I can. All right, sister. So you're going to drop down. Okay. It's going to be, down. it's going to be drop perfect. Down. Here we go. Dropping down. Okay. So Timmy is holding a perfect plank pose. Hands are directly below the shoulders. I'm going to ask her to lift up through the core, squeeze okay. everything. Like here? Squeeze those glutes. Ah, oh, you ooh, I feel that it. Perfect. So to progress this, you can always push up on your tippy toes, pushing your weight forward. Oh. There we go. This is perfect, y'all. So the goal for a lot of people, our goal would be to hold this plank for 30 seconds or 60 seconds. My friends, if you are at a point where you only hold it for 10 seconds and then you drop down to your knees and take a break. Okay. That is okay. You can build this move up. You can also progress it. So okay. Timmy, so coming back up onto your tippy toes, okay. can you take your left knee to your left elbow? Le uh, left <laughs> knee, left. There oh. we go, perfect. And then crossing it back over, setting it back down, and then bringing the right knee in, crossing it over, Yay! and setting it back down. Great job, y'all. So this is a great way to tighten and tone and tuck. You are strengthening your core, awesome. but we're also building stability in the lower body as well as the upper body. So great yay, job, Timmy. Yay, yay. Yes. I felt the difference too when you said to go forward. Yes. I Push felt your stronger, actually. Coming onto those tippy toes. Yes, okay. ma'am. Yeah, a lot of us hang back in that plank, and yeah. so a great cue is to push ah, your weight forward. I'm going to think about that. Thank you. You are welcome, girl. It works every time. Okay, <laughs> so that's a good one for, for all of the up, down. Yeah, because you get your arms, your glutes, your legs, all of it. Good one. Okay, I'm going to plank every day and I'm going to think of you. I'm going, to, I'm going to plank every day, write it up, send it, tag yes. you, whatever. Okay, I love that. I love okay. that. Let's do it. So that's good physical, yes. mental. Yes. I mean, it's stressful, y'all. It is stressful. Um, I see it every day. Moving is stress. Well, no doubt about it. Um, so great question. So for that, you know, I would definitely say um, you want to have a great team behind you. So make sure you have an awesome real estate team. Woo! Absolutely. Because they're going to help you out every step along the way. You want to be prepared for what's about to happen and have that checklist. But um, kind of coming from more my aspect, the two things that I would definitely recommend is to meditate and hydrate. Those are two things, whether you are in any stressful situation, I know no booze in the night before you move, right? We do not want to be dehydrated. The day after. The day, the yeah. day after. Once you settle into your new yes. house, then break out that bottle okay. of champagne. Gotcha. Stay hydrated. Um, yeah, stay hydrated. So, you know, we all recommend eight full glasses of water every day. Um, that's a wonderful recommendation. Um, and for me, you know, um, I noticed a big change in myself and my stress level a couple of years ago when I started meditating for about five to 10 minutes every morning. I get up before my kids do, have a cup of coffee, sit on the floor, maybe do a couple of stretches and have that quiet time to myself. So no matter how busy my day is, no matter how big my checklist of things I need to get done, that five minutes in the morning, it makes a big difference. You know, Marie, that's funny you say that because I did, I did a meditation this morning oh my after God. my workout. Yeah. And I just, I've got a very long, stressful day ahead of me, and it just actually kind of grounded me, put me at peace. So I could see right, I, I could move a house right now. <laughs> so yeah, that could be good. <laughs> well, good because um, you literally do move houses. I move every houses day. <laughs> every day. Um, thank you so much. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I, I'm going to remind my, you know, my buyers and sellers of this. Um, hopefully you guys out there are watching and um, to remind everybody, it's so important. And there's so little just planking, hydrate, meditate, yeah. rest. Yeah. Yeah. Repeat. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Plank, meditate, hydrate, repeat. Just put that on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you do more than just um, your your personal trainer, right? We all we all hopefully belong to our gyms or at home or wherever we go. They can obviously call on you yes. to get some good personal training. But you go above and beyond personal training because <laughs> there's more to just being physically fit. There's also being mentally and spiritually challenged as well yes so um we are kicking off a brand new program i do some online accountability coaching guys sorry this is ladies only oh just so, for the ladies just send the your, ladies send yes. your wife your moms your sisters <laughs> yeah absolutely um so our new program is called rev 60 it's a 60 day challenge so y'all there's three big components to this we're going to focus on whole food nutrition there is no pills powders or supplements to purchase um after that it's safe and effective fitness i've been in the fitness industry for 15 years um, you can get a great workout whether you are working out at home or in the studio wherever you're at and this is more geared towards your home workouts um, and then the third component of rev 60 is soul work which we all oh. we all need that we all can dive deep yeah. get a little bit stronger on the inside too we forget about that part yes. so I'm so glad important. that I mean you are so well-rounded with what you do you're positive, you're real. Follow Marie <laughs> Webb on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, let us know where else to find you. She's yeah. she's a positivity factor, and, and um, when something negative happens, she puts it out there and spins <laughs> it. I love following Marie. So uh, what's the best place to get a hold of you? So Instagram is Marie C. Webb, and I can drop that in the comments below. Okay. And then... Um, Facebook Marie Webb Health and Fitness. So that's like my business Facebook account. So if you have not found that already, I can drop that on the links below as well. Awesome. Well, thanks again. Thanks, babe. Oh, I always love being with you. Well, that's <laughs> all I've got today for the Real Estate Minute with Timmy Grogan, the Facebook Live version. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take a moment to take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye, y'all. Bye.